distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank ICD for giving me this chance to share with you my view about religion and world peace. World peace has already been our aspiration. I believe that the ideals of religion can contribute to not only a healthy state of mind, but also world peace. Buddhists believe that if a person is made of two parts, a body and a soul. If there is only a soul without a body, then it's a spiritual. On the other hand, if there is only a body without a soul, then such a person is mentally handicapped. This tells us how important the spiritual life is. If a person doesn't have a spiritual refuge, they will soon be without energy and passion. They would have no interest in anything in the world and be in a state of the self-pity. Imagine a paid person following their dream when they are certainly hit by the failure. Their world feel dejected or even fall into depression and end up developing a mental illness. That's, that is why religion plays such an important role today. Religion teaches us to be tolerant, compassionate, and grateful. Therefore, religion has a great impact on how we think, act, and speak. If you look around, then you will find that people with religious beliefs live a happiness life than those without. Moreover, when a person has a spiritual refuge, they would be able to entrust everything to the hands of God and the Buddha. Just as the children who suffer from the fear can always go back to their mother because their mother offers comfort and security. Religion offers a true sense of security. The love in the relationship on earth is driven by desire. It is only temporary, however. The love that religion being to us is true love. Love of the selfless devotion, devotion and the love that lasts forever. I hope that through the ideals of the religion, there will be no more fights and wars. Instead, compassion will be spread far and wide. We should treat those old them as, as our parents, those younger than us, as our sons and daughters. On this planet, we rise and fall together as one big family. We should join hands to make this global village a more peaceful place for the next generation and uh, generations to come so that they also can be free from wars. Thinking about our father and the mother, so many of them have experienced difficult time during the Second World War. But luckily, the current generation have avoided those wars. It is due to the 
efforts made by hundreds of thousands of peace-loving people. There have been no major wars around the world today. We live in a peaceful environment. We are truly grateful for their efforts and uh, sacrifice. Buddhists promote peace, so we called upon our religious leaders to work together for world peace, regardless of who you are or where you are from. For the common interests of all the research of the human beings, let's forego our self-interest and embrace everyone on this planet. Today, kids can grow up happily and parents can go to work in the stable society. We know this could not have happened without those who were willing to give their lives for the cause of world peace. Like Nelson Mandela, his story has inspired so many of us. We respect Mr. Mandela and we embrace his legacy. Buddhists often say, when we see other people suffer, we share with pain. If we truly feel the pain of others with our deep sense of compassion, then no hatred or fights would arise. We should know that at the end of our life's journey, we will not take anything away with us. This is what we mean by we don't truly own anything in the Buddhism. In other words, we can treat the time we spend on this planet at the short and temporary stay. If we look at things this way, they will avoid know that during this short stay, there is nothing in this world we should be attached to. Let me tell you a true story. In the 2011, the Brisbane in the Australia was hit by the worst flood in the years. A friend of mine had a house by the river. He locked up his house and left for a business meeting at the Philippines. Around that time, but when he returned to the Brisbane, he could no longer find his house. His house was gone. The house had been swept away by the flood. This story shows us what Buddhists mean by nothing is permanent. What you have today can disappear tomorrow. We have to understand that all the things we see in the world today are empty by nature. So at the end of the day, we don't really own anything. We didn't bring anything with us when we were born. And we can't take anything away with us when we die. What is the implication for the peace with them? I think the key thing here is we need to learn to let go. If we truly want peace, then we must let go of our ego. When everyone is willing to work together for peace, then truly peace, true peace will certainly arrive. I deeply hope that the ideals of the religion can touch everyone's heart. 
and uh, transform our minds so that this world will be filled with love and our dream of the peaceful world will soon come true.